All right, I just filmed a 30 minute video rambling about these friggin' things, so let's try and do a quick and dirty version. Today we're gonna be talking about the Tech Mount and the Tech Mount Mini, which are two new mounting options for holsters and mag pouches from Blade Tech. Now the Tech Mount is the holster sized version. The Tech Mount Mini is the magazine, knife sheath, accessory mount sized version. How they work is very simple. They have a male receiver that has a bunch of little locking teeth all along it. You have a female receiver that also has corresponding teeth. Male slides into female and it's locked in place. Nothing about that is particularly remarkable. It's kind of the same um, in function as uh, Safariland QLS, G-Code RTI, even the previous Blade Tech TMMS. One thing that's pretty neat about this though, is you can actually change the orientation of it. You press the release and you can rotate it. So a lot, by changing the rotation of it, you can change up the grip angle and how it fits for you on your belt to line it up as comfortably and consistently as possible for any of your guns. So Glock, 17 is going to have a slightly different grip angle than a 2011 such as this but you can as you put it in line it up get it pretty close pretty much the same everything will be nice and consistent there is a lock on the back that locks the release mechanism from being pressed even without the lock in place i found these things to be quite strong and i don't find that this release gets pressed even if you do press it it takes a bit of like there's a bit of distance here that you gotta defeat in order to get this out. Now, it's really handy to be able to swap between a one holster to the next in just seconds. Adjust your angle. See, easy as pie. Now, Tech Mount Mini is exactly the same, but miniature version. This works fantastic for magazine pouches, such as pistol mag pouches, rifle mag pouches, PCC pouches, tourniquet carriers, hell, even a 12 gauge box fed magazine pouch. Both the standard tech mount and the mini have several different mounting options as far as the belt side attachment. The tech mount itself is just the receiver and the male disc. You can order them with the tech lock for the belt side attachment, or you can even have a duty drop offset like this. And they also have Molly mount versions. So, the Molly obviously will work well with plate carriers, chest rigs, packs, things like that. So what are the pros and cons of these things? Well, the pro is obviously that you can quick release and move around any of your gear. You can have one belt set up and use multiple holsters, multiple guns, and you can even have one belt set up that you can use for multiple different applications. You could use one for strictly uh, competitive pistol shooting. You could use one for, say, a three-gun competition where you're using rifle, pistol, and shotgun. As long as you have these discs on all of your pouches and you have enough receivers mounted on your belt, it's really easy to swap things around. So say if you're in a three-gun competition, you might have one stage that's all pistol. You can take all your rifle pouches off in a real quick hurry. Literally, it's that amount of time. Put all pistol on. The next stage might be a mix of all three. You can rearrange all of your pouches very quickly. It's very handy. I found these things to be quite strong and I really do like, especially on the uh, mag pouch sized ones, the Tech Mount Mini, being able to adjust the angle. If you have mag pouches that are mounted forward of your hip line, say more like the 11 to 12 o'clock position, I like them to be almost vertical. Maybe not quite that vertical, about like that. The further back you go to about the nine o'clock position on your body the more you want it to be vertical behind the nine o'clock position behind your hips about say seven or eight o'clock then you're going to want to start angling your pouches forward 
that allows for a more efficient and consistent draw. These things will fit on any belt. It doesn't have to be this specific kind of proprietary competition belt. These will work on your regular EDC belt as well as the competition belt as well as um, one of these molly belts. So that is kind of a, a good advantage that these have over the ELS system. So that's the pros. What are the cons? As far as cons, you have a little bit extra bulk and it puts it out about another quarter inch to half inch, depending on uh, whether it's uh, the tech mount or the tech mount mini. And you got a little bit extra weight. It's not a huge amount of weight. It's really not that big of a deal, but it's, uh, I guess, a con. As far as that goes, that's kind of the only con I have of these things. Their build quality is very good. The price, um, they're not cheap to get into, but once you have these things, then it's going to be cheaper down the road. So these things can come either as a set with say the receiver on a tech lock with the disc that you can mount to a mag pouch, or you can just order the disc. This one here is the full size tech mount disc. And then you can, order, you can order the tech mount mini disc. So for us, we have added these as an option on the website. You can order mag pouches with the whole kit or you can just order it with the disc. So if you get say four or five of the full kits, then every other mag pouch you ever buy, you just need to order the disc. So if you say get one of our packages, say the USPSA pistol package, which gives you a holster and three mag pouches, you get this whole tech mount mini kit with the tech lock on it. You don't have to do that again next time. If you want to order a different belt setup, or if you want to order, say, uh, some PCC pouches, you just have to select the tech mount mini disc. Same thing goes with the holster. You can order the whole set. We have options for the tech mount on a tech lock, as well as tech mount on the duty drop. Once you have that belt side attachment, you don't really need to order that every single time. Once you have one setup, just order the discs. It'll save you money in the long run. This actually works out to be a little bit cheaper than Safari Land's QLS system. A lot, a little bit, and I find them to be just as strong, just as durable, just as functional, if not slightly more functional, simply because of the ability to change the angles. One quick note on the duty drop, if you get that, um, these ones have an adjustment so they will fit belts from 1.5 inch, 1.75, 2 inch. And if you remove this, you can even jam a two and a quarter inch belt through these loops. That is an improvement over the G-Code and Safari Land options that depending on which mount you get, they don't have any sort of uh, spacer like that. So if you have an inch and a half belt or inch and 75 belt like this Warrior Poet Society Blue Alpha Gear belt, then what you end up having is the mounts kind of slopping around, sliding around. So if it's not really tight, it's kind of a pain in the ass. These things do also have a slot for a leg strap and they do come with a provided leg strap that is decent enough. Like it's just as good as any of the other leg straps you get from any other company. I found that this mount is stable enough, rigid enough that you don't really need that. And I really like that. I don't like having to have a leg strap. I find with a Safari Land UBL with the QLS uh, drop mount on there that it can get floppy depending on the belt. If you have a nice rigid belt and you have this mount and you have the spacer set properly, then you don't really need that leg strap if you don't prefer to have it, which is very nice. Where I think these things really shine is for people that are either wanting to have one consistent belt set up and using multiple different guns or somebody that has a mission that changes. Um, maybe you are a three gunner and you're going to have stage to stage differences in the type of ammunition that you need to carry. 
Like one stage you might have all shotgun, the next stage you have all pistol. This is really easy to swap out. Same as someone say that's a tactical games competitor. Um, you, if you want to be able to shed some weight maybe uh, for one of the courses and you don't need all of the stuff, you can shed this weight pretty fast. Just take them right off completely. If you have a stage where you don't even need your pistol with the Technot system, you can take that entire holster off very quickly and safely, depending on the rule set of the game you're playing. That's about as quick and dirty as I can go over this stuff. I think these things are a real smart idea. They're nothing necessarily mind-blowing or groundbreaking, but they're very useful and I find them handy, and I think the price of them is about right. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or email me directly, brent at hammerarmament.com. Thanks for watching. See you later. Look at him. So shiny and expansive. Yeah. He's so reflective. That's not tactical at all. Come on, guys. Just leave me alone. What a jump. He costs $17. Nerd. Polymer is way better than aluminum. Howdy, partner. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy here? Go on, get it. I've heard you're the toughest, fastest mount around these parts. Damn straight. What's to you? Well, there's a new sheriff in town. Ha! We don't care about no Johnny Law around here. Good thing my name isn't Johnny Law. It's Tech Mount. Oh yeah? Well, there's four of us and only one of you. What are you gonna do about it? Good thing I brought my posse along with me. Mm -hmm. I'm getting out of here. What's he gonna do? He looks so fast. On a count of three, we're gonna see who really is the quickest mount around. One. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Two. G get it, boys. Three. Defeated. You are the quickest, toughest mount around. Damn straight we are. <laughs>